What's up, everybody? Jason here for Jaspies So, that's a 1920 upper deck and grain hockey five box case break picket team number seven just sold out. So, here you go. Fresh case number seven and eight. Yeah, and you got last one mojo. Got the Jets and then also got the Ottawa Senators. So, good luck. Couple Canadian teams. And then here is the case. Grain. This is a master 10 box case. There'll be two inners of five boxes each, which this is a five box inner break. So we'll see what we will be doing here once we open it up. So, top, bottom. I should have flipped it around. I think I usually would. Case on the top, case on the bottom. One, two, three for the top, four, five, six for the bottom. Get where's the where's the dice? Here you go. All right. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This would be for PYT number eight. All right, here on the top. I'm sure that'll be coming up soon. Awesome O, little, little case. Very nice. I love it when it uh, upper Deck implemented this product, created it last year. It was pretty cool to the rotation of yearly products. I love love those like those wood cards that we pull out of here. They made them autographed this year, which was pretty cool. So even better. These ones have a great finish. Like it feels really really nice. So that's 35 out of 49. Little John Gibson for the Ducks. He's a little blank sub TJ. And you got Jack Eichel to $2.99 for the Sabres. And we got to $2.99 Zach McEwen for the Nucks. How about we just go on order? Jesper Bolfquist, rookie signature shots. And these are cool little stick cards right here. Carbon fiber. Basically what they use for the new sticks now. And make them so bendable. So that's for the Devils and uh, Matt Buckler. And how about a signature remnant to 35, Ray Bork. Little piece of the wood. So that's what they used to use back in the day, right? Wood sticks. And then there's the ink. Beautiful 7 out of 35 for the Bruins. Go to David Duffy. And then we got ourselves a Michael Folik to 65. Oh, that's a real stick right there. <laughs> there you go. Game used. That's for the Calgary Flames. And Curtis... Where's that? Where's that flame at? What's up, Curtis? What would you call people from Calgary? Just sounds weird to say Calgarians, but this sounds like a like a Game of Thrones type of type of uh, type of deal, like Targaryens. Cody Glass. Are you Car a Calgarians? All right. Sounds like, like I said. Sounds like some type of Game of Thrones stuff. <laughs> uh, Cody Glass, rookie for the Vegas Golden Knights. There you go. Got a little Patrick Waugh to two ninety nine. Carl Avalanche. 
Go to Steve and then Zach. Sandy Shem. And we got ourselves a Ryan Kuffner to 249. Detroit Red Wings. Going to Steve. You used to be one, Jack? You lived in Calgary too? All right, it's a little BB6, Brock Besser. I kind of love his autograph, to be honest. This is an update from last year's 1819. It's pretty cool. I don't know if the autos look exactly like this, but this is what they felt. This is what they looked like last year. Nice one there for the Nucks and Ryan. There you go, man. How about a little Connor McDavid? A little used stick right there. Always got to feel the stick, you know? 60 out of 100 for the Oilers. Michael with that one. Nice for one year. I want to do the, one of those Travel Alberta packages the Kings offer, where you just go to Calgary for a game, and then you go to the Kings game when they play against uh, Edmonton. And David Perron to 85. For the Blues. Who's taking it this year, guys? Michael with the Blues. Next box. The Lightning are taking it this year. I don't know, man. I see they just seem to choke every year. They're kind of like the Colorado Avalanche, you know? I feel like the Avalanche are always there. Always uh, the team to be and never end up being. Synthesis for the Islanders. Little Matthew Borzell. Henrik Sedin. Another one there for, oops, sorry. Another one there for the Nucks. And you got Nikita Gusev for the Devils. A little Tobias Bjorn front to 99 for my LA Kings. Chris Parent with that one. This is nice. Complete sticks. There's a little chip right here in the top corner of this OV, but other than that, oh, actually, there's a bottom chip too, a little bit. Um, 18 out of 25. A little triple relic. That's the thing with these big, bigger, thick cards. Watch the Capitals going to mark. And we got Andreas Anthony See You. I don't think he's on the. Red Wings anymore, but there you go, little remnants. I know, cheer for the Kings in the offseason to make the right pick at number two. <laughs> oh, right there for Detroit. I do, I, I always tell Jack this, I, I know he probably hates it, but, <laughs> but yeah, like, my East Coast team would be the Leafs because of Austin Matthews, I'm big Austin Matthews fans, but, but, I, I am a big Ovechkin fan too, so, I don't mind seeing Ovechkin win another ring. I wouldn't mind him partying like he did when they won two years ago. Yeah. Ovi deserves deserves it. And uh, so I wouldn't mind that happening. So for me it's the Leafs and, and, and the Washington Capitals if anything. Alright, uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois. And then we got Seth Jones. For the Hawks. Who has the Hawks? Jacob does. Would have been fun. You know, the Kings are playing some good hockey, man. I always, I always, I'm always bringing it up, man. But they were like on an eight, nine game winning streak before COVID hit. I'm not saying they would have made the playoffs, but the way they were playing, I mean, if they would have ended up finishing out the season, if that's the case, I mean, who knows? They may, they may have made the 24-team playoff little tournament they have, honestly. Blue Jackets, Michael. 
they were finally playing really, really well together. A lot of young talent on that team. Would have been fun to see. Dylan Sakura. That is out of 65. For the Chicago Blackhawks. I mean, yeah, I mean, for the hobby, I wouldn't mind seeing the Oilers win it either if they were to go that far. And we got Dante Fabro, a little rookie relic to 35. I'll try not, Daniel. I will try not. But just in case, man, get, get these teams in the next break if, you know, if you can. Well, I think if you're thinking of, like, the only one I think that probably hasn't worked out too much is probably, I mean, I think Quick, obviously, is one of them. Kopitar's contract, I'm okay with that because he still produces. Dowdy, obviously, is still young enough. He's, like, 29, 30. The one, if anything, is, like, Carters and Browns and stuff. But even then, Dustin Brown had a pretty decent season, like. And the fact is that he's, like, he's like 36 already, too. It's pretty crazy. But, like I said, they do have a lot of young talent, though. And towards the end of the year, they started all playing together. Started clicking, you know? But I'm sure they'll get rid of some of these people over the offseason. You know, I hate to see, like, um, Quick go, but I think it's almost time for him to hang it up, too. But I don't think the Kings will trade him. I don't think they would do something like that to him. I think they'll just tell him, hey, man. Do you want to go somewhere? Because I can only see him probably going to the Rangers because I'm sure he grew up a Rangers fan. But other than that, I think he would retire. No Dobson? And we got a Winnipeg Jet. Hinola. Signature rookie shots to 249. There you go, Daniel. No, no going skunked in this break. You know? Well, I don't know. I mean, I think Cal Peterson's pretty good. I mean, he's not the... He was a pretty big name, but decided to go to college. And, you know, chose the Kings over anybody else. So, I still think he has a chance to be really good. Pat LaFontaine. For the Islanders. But, yes, they do need some more defensive help for sure. But I really think you just need that big goal scorer that they strive to get every year. Is Landers going to David Duffy? And a little uh, leaf patch to 60 or 35. Adam Johnson with that one. A little Elia. And another one, Dale Howardchuck. To 100. Going to the Jets, Jets, Jets. Daniel. And there you go. And there you go, guys. That was the break. Very nice stuff here. As always, Upper Deck and Great Hockey. Five box case break. Cricket scenes number seven. Jaskies case breaks.com. Number eight's in the store. Should be sold out soon. Let's get that going a little bit later tonight. Appreciate it, guys.